Mr. Motion Blur, right, to you. Good, All right, we're here, LoneWolfPaintball.com, with the one, the only, Chris Odom of the Cleveland Browns. Hey, what's good, y'all? What up, Ryan? Yeah, I got me out here just wanted to do a little What's in My Gear Bag video. Let me just let, you know show you what I got. Start off, got a nice little Spacey Planet Eclipse bag. Let's see what I got in here. Oh, well, always when I play, got to represent. You know, got the Jordan cleats. Jordan? Those, are those 10s, 11s? They're the 11s. Oh, yeah, they're, they're 11s. They're 11s? Now, did you actually buy a pair of 11s and turn them into cleats, or did they sell 11 cleats? Oh, no, no, no. They, they were a gift. They were a gift. For who? Hey, that's neither here nor there. They're, they're just good. It was an aging gift. You know, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Best agent in the game. That's one. That's how does Rye guys get an agent like that? Rye hey, needs an agent. You know, after this, I got you. Dude, hey, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Tony, this might cost you more. Yeah, it's all good. He gets it. Yeah, he definitely just got paid. Yeah. Start off, I got my Pro DNA pack. Very comfortable. Doesn't bounce at all. Serves me well so far. We Zero love Pro DNA here at Lone Wolf. We sell out them. We sponsor them. What? Bro, what? J Jacob, bro. What? Dude. What? Got the exalt tank case. I shoot at 80 with a long body, long body powerhouse reg. Got the fit tank cover on it, you know. You know, if you head it over to lonewolf.com, lonewolfpaintball.com, you can get a 90 bottle, so you didn't need a long body. I might have to adjust, you know. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about that. I, I might have to. I'm not knocking it out. Got a whole. Freak, Freak XL barrel kit. Then I got lens cases. You gotta protect your lenses while you're out here. What you know. Uh, I so I have two masks. I actually, I have my carbon mask right here. Just picked this one up. It's actually been it's a more it's the uh, Pro Smoke more cover. You know, certainly pretty well so far. No com no complaints about. But then also. Since I've been, because I've been playing paintball for a while, in the H in the HK case over here, I got my OG clear build right here. Always got to have a pair of flexes nearby, right? You just never know. So, how would you compare the JT Pro Flex to the Carbon Max? Like feeling, fit on your face. I feel like if you had to compare two masks on the market, they have kind of a similar shape, maybe. Yeah. So, as a wearer of both, how would you describe the differences to our viewers? Uh, the difference being, both are very both are very comfortable on the face. Um, you know, comfortable to wear. Both have the little flex bottom. I would say this is like the this one's probably a little bit softer than the uh, than the new carbon ones. The biggest ones that I like about the carbons ones is swapping lenses is so much more easier than uh, than the JTs because because you just have to like kind of just bend the flexes and just yank them off the lenses compared to this one's just a, a turn knob on the side within the mask. So just from a convenience standpoint, swapping out from clears to smokes or gold to whatever one, I personally like the carbons, but I always got my flexes nearby. You just never know. Just like, you know, being able to have options. So I got the Exalt lens cases. I got, got my different carbon lenses. All right here, keep them protected, just cause, you know, lenses get scratched very easily, just like with shades or anything. Then always gotta have my Hydra knee pads. Gotta always have those, gotta always have those ready. Very du durable actually, like these are actually the ones I picked up back from uh, uh, when I first came to FIP in uh, 2020. They still serve, you know, still surviving. Definitely, definitely very, very nice to have. So someone who's played a lot of sports in your life, mm -hmm. and it's fair to say you probably get paid to play a little sports. Just, just, a, just a, maybe a little bit. You know, you probably definitely worn a lot of knee pads. How would you compare hydras to other knee pads? Like, are they only good for paintball, or would you recommend, you know, would you slide them in under the paintball pants or the football pants? I mean, could I? Yeah. <laughs> would they be upset about it? Probably. That doesn't mean they couldn't withstand it, but you know, even just like, uh, even just like doing doing like some some work like uh, like just like outside when I don't want to put my knee on like on like concrete or in the back of a 
or like uh, or in the pickup when I to go and grab stuff out of the bed of my truck. You know, these are also nice to have, especially with uh, my knee situation going on. It definitely very, very nice to have. Then what else we got? Oh, I got, oh, oh infamous uh, bar barrel sleeve case. Just nice way to just keep all my barrels. I got a couple free barrels in here. I got a couple of die barrels, you know, just to keep it nice and protected all in one place. So that's very handy to have. Let me see what else. Oh, oh, this is my baby, this, this is my baby right here. This, this is the special right here. This is, my, this is my current setup right here, DLX TM40. Been a cus, a custom laser engraving in-house by Sam Monville of Houston Heat and DLX. They were, you know, nice enough to, you know, just to Do hook. You have your face on your gun? That, that might be me. It might be me. So they got a new laser engraving. They, I sent them like three pictures and they, their new laser engraver just printed them all, all on the side of, of both sides of, of my gun. And, you know, I love it. No, they look good, shoots good. I let everyone here at the field just, you know, you know, take it on for a few points. They love it. So, hey, since I'm not since I'm not playing much right now, it's definitely been very nice at least to see it out there actually being put to use. I also got the mech frame. So whenever I come back, I'm ready to play some mech, mech X ball. You know, that's very nice to have. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I got an extra tank. Oh, I got the. Uh, I got the D's on Doc sleeveless hoodie, you know. Uh huh, Ron Don, you know. Shout out. Think we're winning a game of basketball. You or Ronnie? Oh well, definitely. Come on, me. Unless Ronnie has ups like that, you know, me all day, you know. Shout out to the. Yeah, it's it's possible. I'm not saying I'm not ruling out, but if if I had to pick, I'm picking myself. Come on. So what you're saying is maybe you should come to Chicago, Ronnie versus Odom. B-ball 1v1 tournament. If he accepts. I, mean, I think you definitely probably kill him in a paintball 1v1. So, like, let's go to basketball where it's right. fair field. Right. You know, just like he doesn't, you don't want to play him in football. Yeah, I mean, right. You know, no, definitely not. I mean, hey, if he's down, we could definitely make it happen, you know. But shout out to the gaming lords, Ronnie Dizon. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. We also got, oh, one of these, the Hydra Pants for sure. Stay hungry. I see that Colt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he hooked me up. Definitely very comfortable jogger so far. And his, you know, the black pants, I mean, you can't go wrong, right? You know, so definitely pants that I've loved so far. Happy I got those. What else got, uh, uh, I don't, um, I don't know how this, this got in here. This was from the, my previous league that I was in, you know. What does get on my level mean? What level was that? Uh, the level was up, like up to, up to my uh, my my performance and productivity um, on on the football field, you know. So just uh, just to make it make a statement. Whenever I make a big play, big play, sack, strip, fumble recovery, I'll just you know go go and collect my chain because you know that you know that type of uh, that type of play brings uh, momentum and energy on the sideline, and we feed and we you feed off that going going into the game or I'm sorry in the game. So just carry on into the win. So that definitely helps a lot. What else do I got? Um, I got the infamous elbow pads, the Pro DNA elbow pads. Definitely been very, very nice to have. Very sleek. Nice. They were out of stock for a while, but I think they got them back in stock, right? Yeah, I think if you head on over to LoneWolfPaintball.com, you can pick you up a pair of those uh, elbow, knee bow, or the elbow and the knee bow pads, or elbow knee pads. Yeah, they've been, yeah. But I, you can also pick up a pair of the hydrogen knee pads, too. They have a great selection. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so these have definitely held up. This is my first pair. Still last me so far. Then, you know, I got to have, have my jersey, my, my team. Shut up, we're trying. But are you trying, Chris? <laughs> I mean, you got to try in order to do. So, you could say so. I didn't see you play this weekend. You were trying. I mean, I was uh, motivating my teammates to be better on the field from the pits. Isn't That's that how. Cheating? How is that cheating? Oh, it's allowed in that Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, that's what it was. Coaching. Yeah, counter coaching. Who, yeah. Who did you try tricking the most this weekend? Tricking the oh, Colt, hundred percent, Colt. You're like Colt's villain. If you go to ask Colt himself, he probably doesn't like me very much. He probably doesn't like uh, uh, how much crap I talk to him. But uh, yeah, I was trying to mess him up a little bit. But you know what? He got he got the win this weekend. But before, I was definitely trying to get in his ear, trying to mess him up a little bit. So didn't get him this time, but I can always get next time. So a lot of the other stuff, I just got you know, you know, some, I got some dude wipes here. 
just like when you're, when you're ever at the field, you need to handle your business. You gotta, so you gotta be sanitary if you ever had to use like a porta potty or so. I don't care if you're a pro paintball player, pro badminton player, pro putt putt player, dude wipes are the way to go. They are, they are. Let's see what else. I got some, I got some deodorant here and then, oh, I got my Swaggy K head, man. So you might be the best smelling paintball player ever if you've got deodorant and dude wipes. Listen, I'm all about, I'm all about hygiene, all right? Like I understand like you're, like you're gonna smell as you're out here sweat, but that doesn't mean like you still can't do some stuff to like help yourself, you know what I mean? Like you gotta have good hygiene out here. Shout out to the homie, Keith Brown, the Tampa Bay Damage, Swaggy K, Sandana. You know, he's a homie. Just sent me this one. So this is actually my second one. Other ones being put to use. Appreciate you, bro. Lord's Gaming, appreciate you. Let me uh, see, I think I got some, I got some other stuff. Let me see what else. Oh, that was just this side. Oh. Loader, got the Exalt loader case to hold my matching control loader with the, H, with the HK aluminum speed feed as well. I, I actually, y'all you, part swap the speed feed with, the, with these teeth, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely contact us at Lone Wolf and we will make almost any combination we can possible. For. I might need another one. I might need another one. Just message Lone Wolf Payball's Instagram and say, Fits! Give me another one now. Yep, yeah, right. Fitz off. Yeah, yeah, Fitz will take care of you. What else? Let me see. Um, I, I got quite a few. Head. My own Horm Hormesis Gambler series. You know, the gambler. That's your own line? Oh, of course, most definitely. So, Al you know, Oliver, you know, and Alex definitely hooked me up. Oh, he hooked me up with this one. Being put to you, it's got a nice little fade on it. Definitely very comfortable. What else I got? It's got some sandanas. I actually got, you know. That, that looks like an OG. I think, yeah, Odin, yeah. Oh. It doesn't look like nothing new. Oh, no, 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 no. this is from when I, when I started get back into playing. I'm happily, I found found this to hold on to it. So it's definitely, definitely nice to have. And then we, but we also, but we all, yeah, then I also got some more, he, um, um, I, 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 I got, a, I got a few, yeah, I got, I got, I got a few things. Um. I mean, I would expect someone who has their own headband blind. To have quite a few I got I got a few things. Uh, I got I got a Tiger Wear. Let's see, this is one of my this is one of my most uh, comfortable head wraps. Uh, the uh, Bunker Kings of Black Mesh. I like that one too. I got the new style Sandana, the Hormesis Collab Sandana Editions. Then I think you recognize this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta have gotta have a black band. You never know. This is where you want to blend blend in real real nice. Let's see. Oh, this is actually one of the ones I was wearing during uh, when I was playing in the other league um, on the field. Yeah, it's got a nice little fade. Got the nunchuck series. Like tackled more sacks than he got more sacks than anyone else. Yeah, there were a lot, a lot of sacks, a lot of sacks. Like player of the year or something. I mean. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But no, a lot of sacks were you know definitely took place while I was wearing this band. So how about so next season? The next season you play, mm -hmm. do you think every time you sack a quarterback you? get that quarterback to sign your band that's like one of those patronizing type type deals I'm just like, like like hey since i hit you can you sign this like as i as like confirmation that like yeah i did what i did it's just <laughs> like putting stickers on the helmet right like i mean why not if, if new orleans saints can have a bounty program why can't you get signatures Someone still got to be willing to sign that. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Do you think there is any quarterback that just would sign it out of fun? Just that, just that good of just like, yeah, uh huh. No, no, definitely not. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not possible, but highly unlikely. Just from the people, just from those that that I do know, and just be like, yeah, bro, I'm I guess not though, doing. To it. be a quarterback, you probably kind of have to have that kind of ego, that kind of off the bat. Like, oh well, they're still playing. You know, still playing. So yeah, they're not gonna sign something like that unless they just know you like that like you're a homie from way back when but highly i highly doubt i get i get one to sign <laughs> to sign something like that after getting sacked because me personally i wouldn't do it if you ever try it let me film it <laughs> let me film the attempt <laughs> i got you bro. i got you and then i think yeah i just got some more i got some more hormesis here and then oh yeah lake yarber uh his company brute Sunscreen has definitely been helpful on that. We got the we got the sunscreen safe right here. He also makes a, a, a lipstick, which is also great. Definitely been helped protect me because, like you know, and I mean, we're out here 
in, uh, in Texas. The sun is always beaming like as it is right now. So always just gotta protect your skin, protect your face. Appreciate you, Blake, for, for that. And his company, Brute. And then, oh, and some transfuse. That's definitely been helpful too. For as much as I've been playing, it's definitely been great to have in my gear bag. Always got the, always got the pack. Is this a new Hormisa Starberry flavor? Definitely very, very tasty. M plenty in my gear bag. That way I stay hydrated because we can't be out here cramping as we as we out here balling. So I say that's about it. That's all in my gear bag. A lot of stuff, but I'm a big dude, so a lot of materials here. So you know, definitely have everything I need for myself or anyone that wants to come on and play. So yeah, if you ever want to just come, you know come out and ball, if you're free out of here at Fit. I'm always here. So. So what item do you think in the 2023 season you would like to add to your gear bag? I've seen all the new releases come out. You know, we've got that new freak kit. We got the CS3. We've got probably some new Hormesis drops. You know, I think Carbon or JT or no, HK came out with a new pack. They came yeah. out with a new strapless pack. Yes. Um, and I've tried that pack. Yeah. That, that pack. That pack is actually pretty nice. Like the way that it has that extra the extra strap on the outside for whenever you load up the whole pack and then every time you take it it shrinks so that so to keep that type of a uh, that type of comfort that doesn't bounce and whenever you take it out it stays sleek so it's you can your pack is not exposed in, in a bunker whenever you're playing that pack is actually very nice i tried that one on very very comfortable and their new, and their new loader i mean for the price too sonic yes it's like 99.99 or 100 dollars yes without a speed feed i think it's with without a speed feed like quick like quick release like top bottom shell removal and a tray dude 99 bucks that's a that's a deal two cases of paint yeah if yeah seriously like that that's worth it that's capable of that that's that's a tournament ready loader yeah. without a doubt like yeah, I, I definitely like that loader a lot. I mean, I definitely think it's supposed to come in and contend at that entry level tournament player. I mean, but yes, when you say entry level that can last through all the levels. Right. So there's always a progression in paintball into your setups, right? Like you start, like you get like a piece of gear here and there, whether if it's new or used, and you progress. You want to get something like new, someone hasn't used before. You progress into it. But that loader is capable to last you however long you want to play. If you if you play mech, you play tournament. That that's a that's a good loader for that price. That is a very good loader, for sure. Final question before we let you go: If you could get any NFL player to one v one you on the paintball field, oh god, who would it be? Ah, uh, maybe so we can get this to them and make a Chris Odium burst. You know, one v one day here at Paintball Fit, sponsored by LonelyPaintball.com. Current, 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 former. You know. Just, I would say, I, I, let's make it healthy competition. So let's not like say Jerry Rice or somebody. Let's, I'm not saying Jerry Rice can't steal ball, probably, but let's <laughs> let's let's put someone within the same decade of you of age and athleticism. Let's see. Let me just ask you, who's who's been playing? Who else? Who else has like been in the scene like that? I'm trying to think. Still playing or or not playing? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good one. I really have to think. I think. Like, do you have anybody in the league you just look at and you're like, yeah, that dude could probably naturally fall? <laughs> well, I can. I've seen the gun skills of some of some of the guys play, and yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that at that. With I have nothing else to say about it. Uh, Aaron, you know, wait. I think last year, Aaron, the Packers went out and Green Bay and them. Yeah, I think the offensive line or the defensive line and. Uh, or maybe the whole. The, I, no, no, it was definitely the whole team because Aaron Rodgers was definitely he had to set up. Because they either went to Vintage or Siege in Wisconsin. Yeah, I think Aaron, he had like the yeah he was wearing the EVSs and he had a he had a rotor. I think he had like I think it was a mini. And, uh, so Aaron Rodgers. You want a one v one Aaron Rodgers? If we're talking about guys in the scene. And that's former teammate Aaron Rodgers at that. Yeah. Keyword former. Right. We could definitely. We, so we can maybe make this happen. We contact him. We'll bring you on up. Maybe get him over to Blast Camp. I mean, we can go to any field, right? A <laughs> fit. Maybe Chicago NXL <laughs> halftime. Pro field one v one. Aaron Rodgers, Chris Odom. Yeah, man. Hey, it's it's possible. I mean, you see what every time he beats Chicago, what he does. He says, "I own you." So, I don't know. Maybe he makes liking make it, He makes liking his uh his visits to Chicago. So I don't know. It it could be a thing. It's possible.
anything's possible. But yeah, just from someone recent in the scene that I know who's played before, I'll just go with that one. Okay. So is there anything you would tell to anybody watching this, the kids, like, you know, from a professional athlete in the NFL to a high-level paintball player, like, is there anything you advise, like, not to be cliche, but, like, just important for them to maybe hear to help push them to whatever the next thing in life is? I would say whatever, whatever you do, put your mind to it, and, and then that, and that way you can you can reach your potential of whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you want to pursue. Whether that's paintball, whether that's football, put your mind to it, work hard, A, and see just how good you can get. But you have to, you have to for sure believe in yourself on what, you're, on what you're capable of accomplishing in order to experience your fullest potential. And real fast before we go, can you let people at home know where they can get everything in your gear bag except for the headbands and those Jordan cleats? <laughs> hey, go check out lonewolfpaintball.com. Thank you very much.